Hey guys. Yeah. I obviously made a YouTube channel and before I do anything or like make any other videos or content or whatever, I wanted to do a QA and a uh, with you guys just so like you guys can get to know me better. Let's get straight into it. How many kids do you want and what would you name these gorgeous human beings? <laughs> I don't know, honestly, like maybe like three. I think three is like the magic number, but you never really know. I was thinking of some cool names. I feel like for a boy, like a cool name would be Carter. I think Carter's kind of sick, but definitely like an obscure name. Favorite food, um, definitely sushi. Spicy tuna crispy rice is my shit, so. How many languages can you speak? Um, I can speak a little bit of German, but not really enough at all. Like just pretty much English is all I speak. How old are you, 23? What's your favorite song? Twang by Mason Ramsey. She loves me for my twang. <laughs> what do your tattoos mean? Okay, this is a perfect way to get this out of the way because everyone like asks me all the time. So basically my, my first tattoos I got were these on my shoulders. And basically it's just all my family, family members' names. It symbolizes like I'm putting my family on my shoulders, you know, kind of trying to be like the man of my family. Um, which is something that I've always wanted to do, you know, be a provider and be there for my sisters and my mom and my dad and everything. Obviously, as you know, me and Luna just got these right here, these little sibling tats, which is kind of cute. I just got this one. Um, and yeah, you guys asked me about like, why do I like Lil Peep and like, what is the, what is the dove with the crybaby like symbolize and so, I don't know if you guys know too much about Lil Peep. He had a huge tat, like right across his forehead that said crybaby. And basically the meaning for it was like, he would have to look in the mirror and like remember to stop being a crybaby because at the end of the day, he's very, very blessed. And you know, just to be like very grateful about, you know, everything that you have and to not worry about the things that you don't. Yeah, I think I just love that message so much. And I also just think it, look, think it looks really cool. So yeah, Lil Peep's one of my favorite artists. Rest in peace. Favorite song from Zoe. Um, I'd have to say New You, I like that. Oh, and uh, her new song, Shut Up and Cry is Fire. You guys definitely go check out Zoe stuff. So fire. What are your aspirations in life? My aspirations in life is to be able to provide for my family financially so like they would never have to worry about any type of money uh, ever again. Favorite sister, bruh, I can't answer that. Obviously love them equally. Favorite song of all time, I Write Sins, Not Tragedies by Panic at the Disco. It's like timeless banger. Why did you make a YouTube channel for fun? Yeah, I mean, I think YouTube is like a really, really great way to like express your individuality and just totally be yourself. I feel like a lot of times society and people, they wanna put you in a box and like tell you like what you can or can't be, but like YouTube, there's like so much freedom in it. So that's why I've always been drawn to it. I just never like, I don't know. I was always hesitant, uh, like what would my first video be? Like what would I, you know what I'm saying? But I think now I just came to the point where I mean, now it just kind of makes sense and I'm excited. What's your full name? And when is your birthday? My full name is Maximilian and my birthday is January 11th, 1996. How are you? <laughs> I'm good, you know? I don't know if you guys saw my Instagram, like I posted a story of me talking about, you know, anxiety, depression, and how it affects me and, and just opened up to you guys. It's something that like, I know I'm gonna constantly be dealing with. If I can just like be honest with you guys and open up and then we all talk about it, I think it's like so great just for humanity to just be real about it. A lot of times people try to like hide behind a tough shell when it's really only hurting you inside. So as long as I can be open with you guys and talk about it, like I'm gonna be feeling a lot better. What's it like living in another country away from your family and how did you adapt basically? All right, this is huge. It was a hard year last year being in Germany by myself. One, because it's so hard for me to be alone. Like I have, I have a lot of issues with that. Like regardless, like even if I was in San Diego, like it was still hard for me. Like I always had to, had to be like with company. If you can find like a good TV show or just like people that you like out there and push yourself to go out, you know what I'm saying? Meet people. Are you single? All right, yes, I'm single. I don't really like to talk about my private life, so like I kind of won't, but I'll just say that, yeah, I am single. Style, inspiration, favorites, and tips. I want to say like there's one guy that we're like, or even girl, like that I take style inspiration from. I would say like I've always looked up to like ASAP, ASAP Rocky, like his swag and everything. Just like the way he carries himself. I just think he's just like the definition of cool. When did you start playing basketball? I want to say I started at like six. And the first game I had, um, <laughs> my parents, my parents like knew nothing about sports. I'm like the first person in my whole family lineage to ever like play any type of sport. But yeah, I guess I like scored on the wrong basket. My parents were like, yeah. And then the whole, everyone was like, bruh. Yeah, that's a funny story. How tall are you? 
<clears throat> I'm 6'9". How do you manage to be so close with Luna? Me and Luna have always been close. I remember when I would find out, I found out I was having a baby sister, I was kind of like upset because I've always wanted a brother, but like Luna's been that brother for me too, you know? Like she's kind of just been everything. Um, and she's just unbelievable. What do you look for in a girl? I guess like understanding. Understanding for sure. What is your star sign? I'm a Capricorn. Um, me and Luna are kind of big on this co-star thing. Um, we'd like look at it every morning. <laughs> and Luna's always has struggle with sex and love. <laughs> How was it like growing up with two sisters? It was like kind of rough for me sometimes because I always wanted to hang out with guys so I'd like end up leaving the house and not be there a lot but it made me understand women more and be more conscientious of like not trying to disrespect them or learning terms in the world that are just like politically correct and things like that and just having a more understanding of, of women. What is my favorite thing about Luna? I would say her like intelligence and her awareness and her level of like understanding like she always knows like what's going on with me or like she can just feel energy she's like very aware so I think that's like the coolest thing about Luna. What would you do if you lost a hand? I don't know, I'd be without a hand. Will you marry me? No. <laughs> Fave Lil Peep song. This is a great question. Um, maybe Mr. Brightside. Not, no, <laughs> it's not Mr. Brightside. It's just Brightside. I think Luna just got home. She's gonna catch me a vlogging. I'm in the middle of it. Yay! <laughs> Favorite book, definitely The Alchemist. That book is so fire. How do you feel about waiting until marriage? <laughs> For me, <clears throat> that's over. For you, if that's what you think you want to do, then do it. Um, or don't do it, in that case. What's your favorite Disney movie? Ooh, probably The Princess and the Frog. When did you lose your virginity? I was, I was in eighth grade. I was in eighth grade and I lost my virginity on the toilet. <laughs> I was literally on a toilet. <laughs> Olives or no olives? Olives are disgusting. I hate olives. Who's your celebrity crush? I don't I don't even think I have one right now, but like Jessica Biel, like in her 20s, that's like my celebrity crush. So I guess you could say Jessica Biel now. Who's your favorite artist at the moment? I really like Dominic Fike. I love Young Thug. What is your biggest fear and why? My biggest fear is being alone, 100%. What is your biggest regret? No regret. <laughs> Who's your favorite basketball player? Josh Christopher. He's in high school right now, but he's by far my favorite basketball player. Or Paul George, you guys know him. Are you overprotective of your sisters? Luna's never dated, so like I've never had like the opportunity to be overprotective, but I feel like, especially now, like how mature she is, I trust her, you know, like I trust her judgment 100%, so. Favorite TV show? My favorite TV show is Curb Your Enthusiasm. Favorite app on your phone? Facetune. <laughs> Joking. What's your biggest pet peeve? My biggest pet peeve is when it runs out of toilet paper and then people just put the new toilet roll like on top of the thing. They don't like take the old one out and then put it back in the thing. You know what I mean? Like why would you not take the extra second to like exchange them out? You know, like why would you just, I don't understand that. What is your major in college? I think communications. What kind of dog do you want? Um, I definitely will only ever get a pit bull. I don't know, I just gotta connect with them like on like a crazy level. They're really smart dogs. I just wanted to like make the first video uh, like so you guys can just get to know me better. So tell your friends, go subscribe, comment, like, all that. And I'll see you guys soon.